Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm a junior animal care officer at the Night Safari's Fish and Cat Trail. The Fish and Cat Trail is actually one of the biggest trails in the Night Safari, probably the second biggest, uh, most number of species. Other than the Fish and Cat itself, which is the icon of the trail, we also have a large variety of uh, mammal species. Uh, usually most of them are from the Asiatic region. So we have the common palm civets, uh, Sunda pangolin, and uh, binturong and some more exotic ones like the Indian Garel and the striped hyena. We also had some newer species come around like the southern tree banded armadillo. Currently we actually have two armadillos with us, uh, one male, one female. Their names are Rocha and Rola, uh, which in Portuguese actually means rock and roll respectively. And it's kind of like a thematic naming for them. Rocha actually is very affectionate and over time uh, that we spend with him, he's actually gotten uh, very used to us and he's very comfortable with us being around and handling him as well. Uh, Rola is a bit more shy, but she's slowly opening up to us and hopefully that happens as uh, she spends more time with us. Usually what we just do, we just give them their own time because they're sleeping most of the day. We just leave them to what they like to do and uh, they're actually naturally very active, uh, which is a good thing for us. Thankfully the armadillo isn't exactly a species that requires high maintenance or very sensitive husbandry as opposed to maybe the pangolin in our section. It has a lot more work that we have to go into it because it's such a sensitive animal. Well, here in the night safari, it's a bit different from most zoos because we operate at night. So, uh, we actually have two shifts. Uh, once in the morning where we start at 9am. The morning shift usually involves looking after the animals, uh, doing husbandry, cleaning up and checking on them. In the evening time, where we have more time, we spend it doing, uh, sometimes we do projects like refurbishments for the exhibits. Or a lot of times we just spend uh, training on conditioning the animals, like uh, bringing the uh, penguin out for a walk. For the night shift keeper, we come in the afternoon and uh, other than helping out the day shift keepers with the rest of the work, we have to prepare for uh, operational hours. So we start releasing the animals out to display, also interacting with guests and telling them stories about the animals. How I came out to be a keeper, well, I've always had interest in animals since I was young. And uh, when I was, after I finished uh, junior college and before I entered university, I had some free time. So I decided to come and volunteer at the zoo and see like, what it was like working here. When I was a volunteer, I was mostly at the zoo, at reptiles and at the rhino and fragile forest. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And after well, having a, spending four years uh, taking a degree in zoology, it made sense to just uh, carry on my career in, in the zoo back in Singapore. And we have a very nice zoo here. I love my job. I love doing what I do. Every day when you come in, it's all the little things that you see. Because the animals are alive, you're working with live animals. It's never mundane because every day is a different scenario. It's never boring and you get something new every day. And sometimes you do get fulfilling experiences like when you do give animals enrichment or conditioning and if they do pull it off, uh, it can get pretty exciting. What we can do at our level maybe is to just uh, try to raise awareness and educate the public. Because uh, nowadays in our society, information and education go a long way into the mindset of what people think and perceive uh, with regards to the environment and with regards to animals and their futures. Another part that we can do is actually just to visit a zoo, a local zoo, in this case Singapore Zoo, we only have one zoo here. Uh, but the zoo goes a long way in supporting many of our regional uh, conservation efforts and even the ones locally as well. And uh, we do spend a large sum of money and time trying to help to conserve uh, our environment and the animals in it as well. So, uh, if you want to, just uh, not just to help to uh, do our part in conservation, but also you want to have a, a fun day out with your friends and families and come here and you can watch the animals.